Okay, welcome back, part three. Let's get designing. So one of the things I wanted to cover first was uh, I made a little bit of a faux pas on uh, VBox. So if you remember rightly, uh, in the last part, I configured uh, some networks, but I only had VBox net zero. Of course, we will want VBox net one. So click on a plus, it'll add VBox net one, and then address it, 192.168.15. Um, this will give us an adapter for the 192 side of things. So in our in our diagram, this will give us this network here. So a 192 network coming off the Viada and a 10 network. So my apologies for that, but that will fix it. And once you've done that, then basically start up your Viata. And that is my good mate Rob just joining on the uh, Adium. So here is our, whoops. Now I don't know where my uh, cursor's gone. Okay, and it's just coming up now. So there's our VYOS machine, all booted up, okay. Let's slim that down. Um, let's push that out of the way for a second. So, uh, we have Tutorial 14 machine here. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you what happens, some of the little gremlins that happen. Um, let's do a power off and say yes. Okay. And I'm going to bring that VBox back in again. So let's just look at tutorial 14. VBox net zero, VBox net one. That's exactly how we wanted it configured. So slim that down for a sec. Just wanted to show you what I came across a few minutes ago. Um, in GNS3 preferences, I'm gonna to go to our virtual boxes. I'm gonna get rid of that one, okay. So we have no tutorial 14 machine. Again, just double checking, here's our tutorial 14 machine. So if this happens to you, you'll, you'll know why. Um, I'm gonna now go into GNS3, go into preferences. I'm gonna add our tutorial 14 machine in here. Tutorial 14, finish, okay. And you'll notice the network has gone to adapters one. Okay, but we want to edit that and we want to have two adapters. Okay. Okay. What's happened in VBox now? Yeah, that's fine. Just worth double checking. So, okay, that's absolutely fine. Now, power on your machine in VBox outside of hitting a start key, which you'll see in a second. This is going through its standard. Let's just let that boot. Let me take a couple of seconds. It'll be up and running, and then we can do some designing. I don't want any errors here. No, good. Uh, BYOS, BYOS, show interfaces. Okay, ETH0, ETH1, fine. It's absolutely fine, that's what we want. So, in all your devices now, well, let's drag in Tutorial 14. We know it's up and running already because we've started it already. Um, whoops. And the network, it's got two adapters. That's fine, that's what we wanted. Um, I'm gonna change the symbol and make this a router. And then in here, we're gonna grab our C 3600, our Cisco router. I'm gonna configure this to make sure it's got the right uh, slots. So just very slowly configure R1 slot. See, I was playing with this, so it's got a, an ether switch module in there. We don't want that. We want a fast ethernet and we want another fast ethernet, okay? So that's got two fast ethernets, as you can see there. Hardware is NM1FETX with one port. So we've got a 0, 0 and a 1, 0. That's fine. 
on this one, Ethernet 0, Ethernet 1. That's what we want to see. So they're there. We want two switches. Let's whack those in. Perfect. And we want four virtual PCs. So, a la our design, let's bring this up again, four virtual PCs, two switches, a Cisco and a Viata. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted to have. So now we can start linking these together. So to do that, this is called add a link. So let's add a link. First of all, we want to connect R1, but we want to do it on this port, 1-0. I'm saving the 0 zeros for the connections between those two. So 1-0 to the switch, port 1, so it's the native VLAN. Port 2 to PC Ethernet 0, and port 3 to PC2 Ethernet 0. Same again over here, this time Ethernet 1 to the switch, port 1. Oops. Oh, it's not creating it. That's interesting. I gotta go and figure that out. I've never had so many problems before. This is the way it goes when you start to make videos. So now I've got to figure out why this won't link to Ethernet 1 there. That's interesting. Oh, I know why. We've got this powered up. So what I want to do is go back to our virtual machine and actually power this off. Yes. Okay. And there it is. It's put the link in automatically. That was the link I wanted to create. So we want these red because we want these down. Down in the beginning. And that's fine. That's exactly what we want to set up. So, one last link to create, which will be between 00, zero and Ethernet 0. So that's it. That's our entire network diagram, our network design, all configured. So we have what we need to have. Now we've got to actually configure the switch. So I'm going to pause it there, make sure this hasn't gone running along too long and maybe we'll be doing a part four, perhaps we'll be doing a part 3B um, to make sure. But that's the basic design exactly as we planned and now we can start configuring all of these IP addresses. It did end up being a uh, part three tutorial 14, part three B. Um, so I'll tag it on to the end of part three because we've still got about four or five minutes. In those four or five minutes, well, why don't we just get these switches configured? So if we go in and configure, we're going to have a couple of VLANs here. So go to switch one. And on switch one, we want port one to be a trunk port. VLAN 1 is fine, that'll be the native VLAN. Dot 1Q, okay, and click Add. Then on port 2, we want to have VLAN 2 and its access. And add that, and you can see it here. And then on port 3, we want VLAN 3 and it's an access VLAN. So that's where you want to end up. You want ports, v, sorry, VLANs one, two, three. But this is a dot queue, this is a trunk. Okay, and you want the same over here. So same again, port one, dot one queue, add. Port two, VLAN two, access, add. And port 3, VLAN 3, access, add. That's what you want to end up with. Okay. Amazingly, that's the switches done. The switches are now fully configured and we're ready get, to get going with the Cisco router. So in order to do that, before we end this bit of the video, let's just start the Cisco router. As you can see, the ports are now gone green. And then once you've hit the start, you can now go console. And this is going to come up with a console. 
Okay, so this goes straight into enable mode. Yours may well go into a different mode. Um, I'm going to do a show whoops IP interface brief. There we go. So we got FA00 and FA10. There they are. They're administratively down at the moment. That's fine. Okay, so I'm going to pause there and then we're going to come back and configure suit to nuts our R1 Cisco router.